Kanu tortured, inhumanly treated, kept under code in DSS custody. <laughs> DJ Adeyuju, convener of Consigned Nigerians Advocacy Group, has raised an alarm on the kind of treatment Namdi Kanu, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, is receiving in the custody of the Department of State Services, DSS. Adeiju alleged that Kano was being tortured, blindfolded for many hours, left on the floor in a cold, air-conditioned room. He alleged that the IPOB leader had been subjected to all forms of degrading treatment. In a series of tweets, the activists urged the Kano's lawyer to pray the court to transfer the IPOB leader to a prison facility during his next adjoined date. He wrote, Kano's lawyer must insist that he be transferred from DSS custody to prison on the next court date to stop the violations of his rights. They have also denied him access to his lawyers and family members. This is another major human rights violation. Hmm. They are torturing Namdekano. They blindfolded him for many hours. They leave him on the floor in a cold, hair-conditioned room and subject him to all forms of degrading treatment. This is a grave violation of the Convention Against Torture and Other Cruel Inhuman or Degrading Treatment. Kano was arrested by the Nigerian government on Sunday and repatriated to Nigeria to continue his trial before an Abuja High Court. He was brought before the Justice Binta Nyako led court on Tuesday for his trial, but the court reminded him in DSS custody why I joining the matter. A lot of Nigerians have reacted this. He never see anything. He will pay for all his atrocities, criminal. You will die. I will track you and kill you. You are already dead, fool. Where are they? Please, where are these troublemakers? Allow peace to reign. Don't mind him. It will soon be his turn. The people he killed and cut off their head, their families are left in code, dehumanizing condition. <laughs> My never worry light will soon shine at the end of tunnel when the day is getting dark, light is on the way. We don't hear, just wait for your turn. All troublemakers will soon understand the language we are talking about, including you, too damn more to come. By the grace of God, this country, Nigeria, shall have peace and witness progress and development it is destined for. Stop playing politics. Stop playing to the gallery. DJ, go look for better work like other responsible citizens. You see, it baffled me so much when some persons think or feel that this man is the problem of uh, Nigeria. Now he's been arrested. Will he stop Fulani Hesman killing people? Is he going to stop the banditry activities? Or is he going to stop Boko Haram? activities in the in the northern part of this country the way people are rejo rejoicing mostly the northerners over namdekano why they have bigger problems in their hands they don't even sleep with their two eyes closed in their region but they are rejoicing over one man that is agitating for freedom this is really very very bad instead of them to ask the government to stop all the killings in, the, in their area they are busy rejoicing over nothing for goodness sake, they should understand that this man is not their problem. They have their problem within themselves. They living in them. So it's not in the canoe. If you feel that arresting in the canoe is going to stop all the problem we have in this country today, you are just missing it out. Because if the canoe is killed, now they are now uh, pursuing Sunday Bobo in Southwest. If these agitators are being killed, <laughs> Don't worry, hundreds of them is going to rise up and they are still going to sing the same song of these, uh, them being marginalized and injustice, this tribalistic, you know, nepotism, all that that has been playing out in this country. So if you feel that Nnamdi Kano 
will be the end of all the insecurity in this country. Uh, are we going to talk about the, the prices of things? No, no, they cannot see the cross of those ones. For goodness sake, if we see the truth, let, we see, let, let, us, let us say it. Let us stand for truth. Because this is what, you know, we will live after our life. You get. Say the truth. Stay, stand for the truth and did the needful. All right, let's continue. All right, someone just replied to this comment. Okay, let me take the comment again. He said, we don't hear. Just wait for your turn. All troublemakers will soon understand the language we are talking about, including you. To Dan, more to come. By the grace of God, this country, Nigeria, shall have peace and witness progress and development it is destined for. So stop playing politics. Stop playing to the gallery. TJ, go look for a better job like other responsible citizens. Someone just replied to that. You are a really big fool. You next, right? Zoonology animal. You got what he got what he deserved. You forgot that the person whom you think is treated humanly has caused the dirt of many makes some women widow and some children's offer. Please think well before you talk. As you people are fooling yourself, so let anything not happen to Namdi Kano, else this country will break by force. Rubbish. He will die and nothing will happen. A fool like you can just brag anything. Rat of rant. DJ is a stupid is a stupid man, Sha. You said his test is he denied access to his lawyer and family. But how do you know the condition he is in? He was blindfolded, left on bare floor inside the cold room. How do you know all this? <laughs> so guys, these are Nigerians' reactions to this. I'm going to drop it here for now. Let's hear from you. Hit the comment section. And don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Bye. For now.